In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CSF. This is cesium fluoride. So cesium, that's a metal, and then fluorine's a nonmetal, and there's a big difference in electronegativity. This is an ionic compound. When we write the Lewis structure here for CSF, we need to take that into account, that we have an ionic compound. So we'll write CS and then F. Cesium, that's in group one on the periodic table, so it'll have one valence electron. Fluorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, it'll have seven valence electrons. So because we have a metal and a nonmetal in an ionic compound and the fluorine is so electronegative, this electron will be lost from the cesium and gained by the fluorine. And when that happens, the fluorine, now it has eight valence electrons. It has an octet. And since electrons are negative and it just got one, now it has a negative charge, negative one charge. Cesium lost an electron, it becomes positive. And we want to show that that electron was lost, that it's not sharing them. So we're going to put brackets around the fluorine. So now it's clear that all of the electrons are with fluorine. These are not being shared. So this is the Lewis structure for CSF. And since we have a positive ion and a negative ion, they're attracted to each other because they're opposite charges, and that's why we have the ionic bond here. Do note when we have this Lewis structure for cesium fluoride here, this is what we call a formula unit. If we had solid CSF, we'd have a crystal, and it would be made up of a regularly repeating pattern here of this formula unit. But this is useful because it shows the cesium lost or transferred its electron to the fluorine. Now we have an ionic bond. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.